Hmm, still not working? Ah, what the fuck, huh? Ah, uh, typical. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about that new, uh, documentary about, the uh, Atari. And one of the worst games ever. But, you know, oh, this is a cool t-shirt, but, you know, still not working. What the fuck, man? I got a hot topic right after watching Avenger. But, but, uh, I'm an idiot. I got the small, you know, the small Deadpool one. I thought, man. wonder if they'll let me exchange it. Hmm. Yeah, well. You know, Atari, one of the biggest um, video games ever, or companies ever. Hmm. Yeah, Pong and the Centipede and all the classics we used to play back in the day. It was big business back then. Hmm. But this one little game called E.T. fucked it up. Yeah, they went to some kind of landfill. Hmm. Yeah, and where were they? New Mexico. Very silent for some reason. Okay, I'm fucking with you guys. <laughs> I'm surprised I lasted that long. Yes, we're talking about um um Atari documentary that came out last year. I finally saw it. I catched it on um cable, but I missed half of it, or first tw 12 minutes or so, so I, so I found it on Netflix and watched the rest of it, or the first half. Anyway, yeah, it's the story of, it really does, the highs of Atari to the very low lows, and, well, why in 1983, I believe, the video game crashed crashed and it wasn't until like much later when Nintendo or NES came out before it picked back up. Anyway, yeah so you know it's hard to make a game and these guys did it from scratch because nobody ever did it before and um you know you got Yari the Revenge which is also the same guy who did E.T. did um and then, you know, there was that. And then when you only have like five weeks so they can make their Christmas release. Or, yeah, for, for it to be in stores in Christmas. Um, in five weeks. And it was a double match. I never played it because I didn't have the Atari 3600. It wasn't until later we got the Nintendo. Then 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 then. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, don't get me started on that. Anyway. So it's always been rumors that um that um they buried it in a landfill in New Mexico, and pretty much the the, the one of the head guys of the dump. Was like an archaeologist. Um, he was basically in Anna Jones, right? <laughs> basically, he was in it, and he pinpointed where they might be. But there was a, always these hoops and and red tape for why they couldn't do it because environmentalists would have. A